Alright guys, I'm back, and as promised, we're going to unbox this awesome game here. Oh, I don't feel like unboxing it, but oh well, let's do this. Get a knife here. Let's cut the tape. Oh, yes. I'll just put this aside so I can cut the tape. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Just one less piece of tape. Uh, you can fast forward this part. Alright, here it is. The moment of truth. Dun dun dun! Holy shit, this looks so sexy. Well, you guys can fix it. Okay. Oh, spongy, sponge, 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 bob. Okay, ignoring that. Let's see now. We have. It's pretty much like your standard manuals. Explain that. People normally get that to the end, or you just don't do it at all. So yeah, ignoring this. And here's the, the easy adopter. Well, uh, sorry, I'm a little crap. I'm talking without looking. I'm sorry, guys. So yeah. I'm screwing this up so much. So here's the AC, part of the AC adopter. I wish they just gave it like in one piece, like the Nintendo DS. But no, Sony just has to be different. And, oh, wow. The UMD. I thought we were only getting the voucher for this. Sweet. Yeah, but too bad I already saw this movie, so I'm not really interested. But still having an extra UMD isn't too bad. Nice, nice. And here it is. Can't get this off. Seriously, Sony. Oh, let's get that Sony. Okay. Two gigabyte memory stick. I hope you guys can see that properly. Oh, I'm so screwing this, screwing this. And so normal PSP like the the one that just comes by itself has a 32 NB. So it's only two gigabytes. Oh my God, I'm feeling so much of this. So yeah, there goes there. Guys, please forgive me. And. Nah, the last but of course not last, but yeah. Here's the Grand Turismo UMD. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't come with the box in the manual. Well, yeah, the manual's probably in there, but I was hoping it came with the plastic box as well. Mm. Yeah, kind of disappointed there, but oh well. At least like, the game is what counts. The battery is so much lighter than the one I had in the PSP 1000. It's so much slimmer. I wish you could compare, but I don't have my PC 1000's battery yet. I have to buy a new one. I use the charger for that. AC Doppler for that, whatever. And we'll just keep it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, okay. Get part of the glass. Alright, uh, guys, I'm going to put this away just for a sec so I can take out my the other part of the AC Doppler. Just don't mind me. You can fast forward. I know I'm screwing this video so much. I'm sorry. Okay, I cannot take it out, but I'm sure you guys can see that right there. Mm -mm. Okay. Now let us try to take out the PSP to one. Oh! Holy crap! Oh my god! This thing feels so effing light. It feels like a cheap ass toy. I cannot believe this is PSP 3000 right here. This is so light. Even with the battery, it probably will be the same, but holy crap, this is. Way too light. Oh my god. Wow, but I wasn't expecting that it'd be that light. Well, um, it's not like I'm disappointed or angry with it. I'm so, I still really like it. It's just kind of surprising that it was so light. Let me just get it a clean light there. Oh, it's got a rough surface. Oh, wow. This thing's got like a, like the rough surface of the, like the PC 1000, except all over. I like that. It's, because otherwise, like the other PSP 3000s have like a smooth surface all over, but then it's, it's like a fingerprint, it's like a fingerprint magnet then. So yeah, I'm happy with this, but still it's really light. It's like a cheap.
cheapest. Like, build one of those, uh, Sony ripoff toys. It's kind of like that. Yeah, so, let us compare it to my PSP 1000. Now, when I hold the PSP 1000, it actually feels like I'm holding a PSP game, like a PSP console. Because when you, when you hold something in real life, it doesn't feel like you're playing, you're holding the game. It feels like you're holding a cheap ass toy. But, but when you hold the PSP 1000 without the battery, it's got no battery in, by the way, it really feels like you're holding something there. Well, anyways, and I'm just complaining. So, yeah. Let's see now. Hold on a sec. I wish I knew how to pause this thing, but I don't know how to use my cell phone's camera really well. Yeah, so if you look at it like this, it doesn't seem too different to me. Yeah, well, one noticeable thing is the PSP rings at the back. The PSP 3000 has a slightly better ring. And... Yeah, so it's the front. Hold on, please. Yeah, okay, so the front's a bit more noticeable. The difference. The... Yeah, okay, that's a still PSP, so yeah. The L Yeah, the buttons feel pretty much the same. Actually, they're pretty more resistant. Resistant. I like that. And then the home button has changed. To the PSP, to the PlayStation logo instead. And this one's like, um, yeah. This is like home button, written home. Yeah, okay. And so, yeah, so, and then another thing is the UND drive. Now, hold on a sec. Okay, one thing I noticed is the PSP Slims, the UND graphics slim, opens a lot more. And, well, it seems a little, a bit, a little, it seems less protective to me, you know? If you look at it. Have a good look at that, and and you can just pull it up, like you can just pull it from here. That's it. So you can just open accidentally, close really easily too. I'm I'm scared, but a UMD drive. Well, the PC One Thousand has this little oh, my bad. has this little open switch button here. Just push this back. Yeah, almost like that, and you can see these two things here. This and that, yeah, that makes that like keeps the UMD a bit safer. When you close it, yeah, you can feel it. So well, I think the UMD is lo is will be safer in the PSP 1000 rather than the 3000. And another more noticeable thing about the PSP 3000 is that it's got a built-in microphone and Skype, which is awesome if you ask me. It's, if you can see this microphone here, right here. Yeah, that's a little microphone. Pretty sweet. You can Skype. I start this on for you guys, but then, nah, I'm not really. Well, I don't know if I'm really for that. So, yeah, and the reason I didn't buy the PSP Go was because I cannot use any of, of these UMDs I have. I'm not opening the bag, but trust me, there are UMDs in there. Okay, fine, I'll show you. Yeah, okay, you get the idea. So, can you use any of these UMDs? It's kind of a bummer, and I I like the game, the UMD disc. I like the game physically, like, um, I like the physical thing. Like, when you, buy, when you download games from, your, from the PSN, you just get the games. You don't actually get the plastic box, you don't get the manuals, you don't get the game, the disc, the UMD, you get nothing, just the game and the memory. Just the game, that's it. And this is my PC fat, which is it's hacked. It's got custom firmware in this one, and I'm pretty sure that this one cannot be hacked because, in according to my knowledge, I might be wrong, but your PSP must be at least at 5.03 firmware to be hacked. And I'm pretty sure since this is a Gran Turismo bundle, it's probably at six. This PSP, probably, yeah. So, I think I've made this a really long and boring video. I'm sorry if I bore you guys, but yeah, that's my first review. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, have a good day. And happy Thanksgiving to you. To Americans. Goodbye.